Yeah, he sets my body in motion He just, he knows how to turn things up And he knows what gets me going Yeah, like Yes, we're in lockdown Or are we dreaming? They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, he gets when I'm in a bad mood Then he, he knows how to make it all right Yeah, I get that, he got a history But I don't wanna think about no other than us They look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us Thinking we are too much Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation They be looking at us mm. Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway Why do I need to be good all the time? Yeah, he's got a bad history But I want him anyway So look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation But what about it? Why do I need to be good all the time? I'm wrapped around his finger, but he is mine Don't care what they say, too late anyway To be good all the time There was not much to say in that sequence, except that Jody told me to take the GoPro and shoot. She also dropped my coffee filter and managed to retrieve it. Good mermaid. We're about in the middle of lockdown here in Mindelo, and as you can see, it's tough for all of us. We've got to stay clean and we have to stay well groomed. Willie here is giving Christophe a new do under the watchful eye of Swiss sailor Thomas, who after finishing a world circumnavigation with his family, is waiting to sail back to Europe. And me, well, I had to deal with some galopin issues. His turn light had broken off, and a wire in a stanchion was completely rotted and broke inside. So how did I manage to lead a cable in there? With needle and thread and a bit of patience.
And yes, the needle passed through and I was able to thread new wires. Being alone, I'm never alone. Who's here? It's fish! Good for him! <laughs> oh yeah, fish! Yeah, so. Don't take cheers. It's a bit early for me to drink. I have to finish my project, but it's his birthday. He deserves a stomperot. Yes. <laughs> as much as I would have loved a stomperot, I had a job to finish. And I did it successfully, man. Later, I could go and have a few stumperats, like now. It's Pesha's birthday. And yes, we're bending the official rules. But we're also staying at home. Pesha's home. Estefania made delicious homemade pizzas, and Pesha made a kind of feijoada. In his home, there's always enough for everybody. Pesh has been hired as a crew member on a commercial ship bound for Miami. Alas, he's here at home with friends and family. He'll ship off eventually, but for now, happy quarantine birthday, my dear friend. I had a nagging electrical problem and an electrician neighbor. Well, my charger has been working for a while and I couldn't figure out why. And uh, my friend Jean really helped me out. Yep, that is Jean also Swiss. You may remember him from episodes in the Canaries where we first met and he made Swiss fondue. It's my charger, I don't know what he did. He's a genius. I'm surrounded by geniuses. Well, John checked out my charger and it's working just fine. I'll have to reinstall it and check it out again. John said he'd stop by later to check himself. So I went for some essential lockdown supplies. Grog. Gloria here sells it wholesale in the way. Five bucks a liter for age grog, which is basically dark rum. I'd asked Paige and Jody if to come along, and they were all too pleased. Back at the boat, Jean stopped by and solved my problem really a simple thing it was just one connection that wasn't working or one of the uh, power outputs and we just had an extra one so we just switched the cable and now it's working perfectly so I'm really really psyched I have my limitations so it's really great to have a good friend like Jean that uh, was here to help out so I'm really pleased and really really thankful to him merci Jean très <laughs> <laughs> Et puis là, j'ai un autre, toi, 13-7. Merci, Jean. Pas de quoi, c'est mon métier. C'est son métier, c'est un électricien. Électronicien. Électronicien, un vrai pro. C'est ce qu'on appelait à l'époque radioélectricien. Ouais, puis maintenant, c'est un bateau électricien. Ah, ouais. <laughs> and since we all have plenty of time on our hands, I decided to give Simone's engine dials a new coat of paint. Actually, it was good old Mickey who thought Galapin was losing his Swiss shine. Then Page came by to give Galopin a scrub. He told me that he just really needed to get out of the house and in the water. We had a quick stumperot, and then I made some bisap tea. This is bisap, a flower that you brew up in boiling water. I love the color and it tastes like fruity tea. Yep, this is my friend Lily and she is one of the most fascinating young women I've ever met. She's only in her 20s and can go from giddy girl to sharp intuit of brilliance. And she's teaching me Creole. We're picking up Jody, her friend Laura, and the boys for a hike in the mountains. So this is the crew that we're supposed to go on a walk together. <laughs> and it, it looks like they're gonna drop out. It's gonna be just me and Lily. Chuvin, Alex. Chuvin. 
Was it so you're like? Uh huh. Because these motherfuckers are like <laughs> pussies. Well, that's it. I'm never making group plans again. And to be honest, I prefer to be with just Lily. I have to speak and understand Creole. We stop by Tit's farm. He's the most darling, imposing man. And again, Cape Verdean generosity is abound. He pointed us in the direction of a beach called Unspeak, just over a mountain pass. It looks easy enough, just follow the trail. But the trail becomes trails formed by Tit's goats. They go all different directions and you don't know where to go. So we got lost, but eventually found our way. Once above the valley, it seemed easy enough to get down. Not so. Poor Lily bruised a plentiful booty slipping on the crumbling rocks. I was all too happy to apply some pomade later on. Down on the beach is a family that is permanently camping out here. There were only the kids there, and this young man turned on the natural spring to refresh us. We hung out on the beach in the wind and sun, and I even went swimming. But we decided to head back up the pass, and it was rough again, and I won't bore you with the details of scuffed knees and scrapes. Once on top, we had the stunning view of Mandelo the city I've come to cherish and love, thanks to people like Lily. Well, we're obviously distant socially from the city, but Lily is socializing pretty close online nonetheless. She's tough. That was quite a climb, man. Back and forth. We still got to get down, but yeah. Yeah, Lily's something else. We suffered, and it was really hard. I promised Lily I'd make her lasagna. And as I've said, they love food. Lily will go to the meal. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. She likes it. So it's such a pleasure to make food for somebody that lo loves eating it. And it was really good, man. I mean, great freaking lasagna. Let's see. I make good lasagna. I'm even happy with it. Yeah, I make good lasagna, and sometimes I leave my phone laying around, and this is what can happen. Yeah, 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 yeah. 